Right, this is deja vu. I came here eight years ago and did this walk, but there was loads of sheep up here, and they all came round me. They were even in the graveyard. And as soon as I entered the graveyard, I came across all these hassle or hazel graves. There's the keep over there, look. That's the, um, the Pele Tower. Watch out when you're walking. There's one way in there. I'm glad I got my proper walking shoes on. There's the church. Oh, the door is open as well. It's up past nine already. I'm just doing this little video because obviously I, it was all on cassette recording before. It was pictures with me on an audio. This time it's a video. Of course I can't send it to anybody because the internet where I am at the moment is not very good. But there will come a time where it'll be fine. Yeah, that, there's the there's the Pele Tower. Looks smaller now. It's weird. Don't look so tall now. So all the back here, this is where the hassle graves will be. And they've got memorials within the church as well. Like I said, I might be able to get in before there's a service. But of course, it has been bell ringing. So I don't know if that is physically a bell ring or whether that is um, automatic. You can get in this way, see? You can get in the church. Now, this, like I said, I was greeted by lots of sheep the last time I came. So, there we are. There's a woman walking with her dogs with her coffee. And I'm going to be following where she's going up the track to Dakar to Dalmain eventually, but there's that famous tower. It's called a castle, but um, and I always remember how passionate and emotional I was when I got here for the first time. And um, little streams and becks running down. When I came through this gate, I remember that as well. It's quite overgrown actually. Um, Oh, hold on. There we go, everything is done to keep the sheep out by the look of it. Well, they probably used to keep the grass down now. There we go. I can hear lots of bees. Yeah, that's, um... God is love. That's Francis Hassel over there. Born July 1854 and died 1912. But there's lots of Hassels here. Um, there's also the funny stones, the bare stones as well. And lots of little Hassel graves here. See, there's some, um, and sails. These are all Hassel graves. Sinclair. This big one here. They did have um, inscriptions on what I could read um, before. I think it's down in the bottom there. In love and memory. I think it was the grass was a lot... Uh, But I've got it all recorded. I don't actually have to do all this because we, we, this has all been recorded. Frances Hatton Eva Hassel. Yeah, she was the. This lady here was the one that went to Canada um, on, in her camper van. She had one of the early style camper vans, and I've got a really good booklet about that. 
Eva, yeah, they called her Eva mainly, I think, even though she had lots of names. So it's just nice to do a little video of this. Edward William Hassel, yes, that's right. Now, of course, there's John, who I used to um, communicate with. He was in his 80s, mind. He used to be, he was a traveller, and um, he died. This could be him here. A life of energy, service and adventure. John Anthony Edward Hassel, son of Godfrey and Ethel. Husband of Susan, father of Penny, Kit and Miriam. 30th of December 1930 to the 13th of December 2011. A life of energy, service and adventure with Royal Signals and Outward Bound Canada. Yes, I... He used to communicate with me. John would, uh, we used to email each other and he provided information about the tree up here. And I, I'd done some tree work. He was doing the tree in Cambridgeshire as well. Um, he's the son of Major Godfrey Sinclair Hassel, son of Canon George Edward Hassel and brother of Edward, a well-beloved father of John and Anne, born, this is um, his father, 1889, died 1977. <sighs> father of Penny, yeah. Oh, John, I don't know if you're actually in the ground at all, or whether it's just a memorial. You might have had been scattered somewhere. I would have thought you might have wanted to have been scattered in a high up place. <sighs> Right, so there's lots of other hassles there. I'm glad I found that. I'm going to turn off now, so I'm so worried that the video will run out. And I haven't done everything yet. I've got to try and share it around a bit. But here we are, Ducker Church. The hassle plot is all here, and there's people all over as well that are connected. And, of course, just round the corner, we might get another view of the church. Sturdy-looking church. Over and out for now.